Dave here, you may call me Modown Joe. Welcome back to Let's Play Penny Arcades on the Rain Circ Precipice of Darkness 3! And, uh, and yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and, sh and show you off what I've uh, done off screen. I've uh, given Gabe the Elmensor art class because, uh, well, because of the fact that uh, even though it's mainly a magic based class, it strangely enough gives you a lot of physical special skills. I gave uh, Tycho the. I gave Tycho the Tube Samurai just for the attack stance skill, just because, well, he could use some offensive punch. And Claire gets a uh, hobo because I have no idea what to give her. So, yeah. Um, on the other hand, though, I would like to say you could theoretically give Gabe the Crabbo Answer because it's kind of more of a tanky class. You could actually have him kind of use, like, you get, like, a taunt skill right off the bat. So you can use that, kind of, like, taunt enemies right at him. Then use your deep defense buffs to just make sure to make it so that he survives super easily. Have Tycho heal and have whoever else is in the party just wail. It, it it it's theoretically pretty good. Anyway, let's go check out this church that got unlocked recently. Seems a little weird. The what? How the hell do you even pronounce that? Seamstress and those pins. Ah. So the pins come from some kind of seamstress? Oh, well, at least, uh, at least you can't fault Zeboid for trying to... ...not just, like, put on a light glaze of lore for all the mechanics, but actually delve deep. You gotta give those, give those guys a little bit of pride. Oh. Okay, so it might have all been a lie. So yeah, we can uh, examine all the statues around here. We can uh, learn about the backstories of all the various classes. Um, I'm not gonna do. I'm just gonna go through these very, very fast. Pause, pause like on each frame if you want to actually read them in full. Cause uh, there's a lot of text, and I don't. And while I was playing it, I didn't feel like wasting what was probably going to be like a whole episode just reading all of this so so um just just pause the video as i read each one if it if anything seems particularly interesting then go ahead that said um i guess i didn't go over all of the classes too well the slacker skill i i actually haven't tried all of them but i would imagine the slacker is um similar to the goof off from the Dragon Quest games. I've never actually played any Dragon Quest games that had a goof off class, but I'd be like, you use their skill and you get random effect, some good, some not. It's a free skill, though, so if uh, if you're unsure what to give someone, I guess that's uh, reasonable. Huh, there's an upstairs, too. But we only have seven pins, and there's eight statues here. I wonder what that could be. So, uh, hmm. And I don't know why I particularly went a little crazy looking at this. At the stat screen right now, and oh, I read the same statue twice. Huh, you can't read this one. What is it? Seems dilapidated. Oh well, probably nothing. Uh, let's continue on. I actually don't know for sure. Huh. You, why did you pa write her a letter? Hmm, yeah, you got work to do? You collect treasure in month from I'm sure that's dust is gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. And that's dainty of her. But uh, yeah, Anne Claire's no longer in our party. We probably won't be. I'm guessing we won't see her for a long time. Uh, definitely not for as far as this episode goes. Definitely as far as I know. So yeah, let's just head back to the office. Hmm. Of course, honestly, considering the events that happened, studying what had happened is always a good thing. A dog or cat, you can't go wrong either way. I have both. I love them all. Yeah. Hmm. Uh oh. You left your post. Hmm? The book is alive?! This is really bad. And I'm sure. But yeah, here's Dr. Blood from the last game. He no longer looks completely... He actually looks somewhat evil rather than just some kind of weird hunter. I would say. Some kind of weird safari hunter, but... Eh. 
Hestia. Hmm. This is something I'm going to have to look out for as I record the next few episodes. Yeah. Yep, old Jim. Uh, I guess things didn't work out too well for him. Nah. So we lost the Necromomicon. Great. Head of security. Ugh. That 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 joke hurts. Oh, what do you expect him to do? He's dead. Sort of, I think. Field work? Well, he's joined our party somehow. I don't know how that's gonna work, but, um, you know what? Next chance we get, I'm gonna go ahead and check out his stat screen, but what's going on with the. What's going on with the. Store. With the. Hmm. New case? Huh. Something odd happening at the museum. Alrighty then. But yeah, and on top of the museum being unlocked, we also unlocked the shops. So now let's go. So we can go spend some money. But first, let's check out Jim. Holy cow! Look at his magic stat. Wow, that is something. I mean, that's unenhanced. Uh, Iko has a magic ring equipped. Jim there? Well, he's got some. He's got some mat hard spells there. So yeah, hit Jim. Dark Magic, obviously, is his name. If you ha it's Jim Dark Magic from uh, like the real life Gabe's uh, actual D and D character there. So, yeah, he has Dark Magic. He uses a he has like a Dark Blast spell and he'll revive allies, and he's got some other cool spells as well. But so let's give him something soothing for a uh, magic user. Uh, I would say Gentleman is probably the, one of the most useful ones you can get. Although there's, although we could probably pick out something else there. So yeah, he's got Earth, Berry and Dark Blasts. Good stuff, good stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and you know, we could give him a Slacker. It helps, gives him something to do while building up for Dark Blast. But uh, or we could just go ahead with uh, something, something a little. Or Gentleman. Gentleman's also a pretty good Mage class. So let's go ahead with that and. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have much in the way of skills now, but later on, it'll be pretty darn useful. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do, go sh do shopping. So, uh, Gabe was the only one who got some, got some new equipment last last uh, in the last dungeon, so I say let's go ahead and give him something, but we can also check out the item shop. What else do you expect to say to shopkeep? Well, yeah, you can buy more. You can level up your level up uh, items that you have in your inventory, or get more uses out of them. So it's kind of useful. I don't see me using too many potions, honestly, though. So, but and right now, 50 HP recovery is fine. We'll want to level it up later on, but we'll, for now, what we have is fine. Oh, really nice. He's Ron, Robert Koo I'm there for the for the weapon shopkeeper. Don't call him that, but whatever. Anyway, we're gonna be buying a front words for a, for a Gabe for Tycho right now, and a pitcher for Jim. And as you see, it he only gets like a, he only gets like magic buffs out of his uh, weapons, which is fine by me. He's not really much of an offensive powerhouse, and Tycho's weapons are very all rounders, which nothing bad there. Sell the old sell the old junk. It really doesn't. They really don't do too much right now. And as far as I'm aware, you cannot just walk around barehanded, which stinks. And this shop happens to be where you get the mis miscellaneous accessories, so... Hmm. So, we could buy a magic ring for a gem, but I want to save my money for the time being. Speed is also... Of course, at the same time, I probably really want to get some, uh... Get, get a mocha or something to speed... Because speed is just... Well, an extremely handy stat to speed to buff up. I mean, it's not just because of like maybe one or two skills from the from the from one of the skill from one of the class trees, but it's also just well, move faster, you get more turns, and more turns, you get more and deal more damage. It's straight math. So, hmm, that's weird. 
What's that statue doing in the middle of the museum hallways? A hominid? Um, that's not a good thing. So yeah, we got hominids to deal with. Five of them. These guys are weak to fire, so let's go. So, uh... So a first blood can deal with them pretty well enough, and, uh... But that said, I don't want to use... Have, as long as I have Gabe on the Elementor class, I want to show you just how much... How much it helps to actually pay attention to what the skills do. and Because obviously, Elementor... Gabe, El, the first skill that Elementor gives is, uh physical attack, so it just makes more sense to... So, I figured I'd give it to Gabe, and... Well, let's see, that's considered light damage, just like the fireball. And fireball did like 150 on a... When it hit an enemy it was weak to. Holy crap! Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Yeah, see, that is a lot more damage for, out of, uh... Out of there. That is why I'm probably going to be sticking with uh, Elementor on Gabe for the most part because of the fact that with all the physical attacks that he that it gives, in spite of it being weirdly enough more magic focused, it even gives you like magic buffs later on. It it will just work wonders on Gabe with uh, when you're type matching and trying to find the find elemental weaknesses. But yeah, Jim's magic is also pretty darn strong. And yeah, like I said. The classes level up not so much as skill, so we'll be seeing a lot of level up messages from here on in. Uh, dear God, you know, probably like one, like every fight from here on in. So just uh, if you, eventually you'll kind of drown out those uh, those messages, but for the time being, eh. yeah. Of course, after that, I probably will end up just doing a little bit of a Mexican hat dance, just trying to get. Let me see here. Oh yes, I remember now. I remember now. I actually do end up, uh, yeah, I end up doing a little bit of a Mex Mexican hat dance on all the different skills that are available to the, all the different classes that are available. Just because, well, just because of that one fact that it kind of threw me off as seeing magic buff, and I figured that's not really too useful for game. Here's a tip, though. Later on, he, later on, the elementary class, later on in this video, elementary class will learn ice slash. So. It just makes more sense to keep it on Gabe. Don't do what I'm doing, give him Crabomancer. Although Crabomancer is useful, like I said. You'll see a little example of here against some cave persons. Not cavemen. They look pretty manly to me. In fact, I don't know. Uh, anyway, but yeah, like I said, you can. Crabomancers. The, the cavemen are weak to fire as well, and the Crabomancers' skills are really nice if you want to do some tanking, so you can just glare and keep all the. And all the attention on Gabe and heal him up as necessary. Although right now it doesn't have like the actual physical defense buff that would be useful. And right now none of these, most of the enemies still using physical attacks, so the magic shell not too useful. Later on, we'll see. I have to, I have yet to get there. But for now, just we'll go ahead, full, little full auto on all these guys, and throw, our, throw, go all out with our spells. And not so much with Elementor, because, yeah, well, Northwind might be useful, but... Yeah, it does reasonable damage, to say the least, but... And now we'll just go ahead with the uh, punch. Finish them off, and we can finish these guys off easily enough. We have, we have saved up for a Brute Punch, so why not? I don't need to use full auto there. There we go. So, yeah, we can... Yeah, like I said, level ups, so many level ups every battle. Eventually, it'll just drown it out, I guess, but... So, let's just continue on towards here, and... And we got some pterodactyls to deal with as well. These guys are weak to wind elemental attacks, so... <laughs> so, that elementer, that abilities that I've given to Jim, I'd say they'd be useful right about now, so we could go ahead and just have... Have them win, have him wind away all the rest of the guys, all the ter pterodactyls with relative ease. Probably also weak to ice, have not actually tested, but I would not be surprised in the slightest. I mean, you know, dinosaurs and ice, they're cold blooded. You, 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 you can logic it out pretty easily, I'd say. So, yeah, these guys are not. These guys aren't anything special, they don't have any unique tricks up their sleeve. 
For now, those battles are getting... Battles are at the beginning. They seem to do a pretty good job with uh, making sure the battles ramp up correctly throughout... Ramp up well throughout the... Throughout a fight, so... Yow! Ouch, Jim! Watch out! And the charming ability... <laughs> well, let's just say that's the reason I turned Iron Tycho into a gentleman and a scholar for the next episode. Also, nice shout-out to the last game there. Zeboid. But yeah, we pick up some Molotovs in there. It's a, a nice little attack item. Well, the, a little bit overpowered at this point in the game since they do 200 damage, but... Yeah. Uh, until the next time, though, I'm Dave. Remember to visit your local museum and maybe donate for them. Take care, everybody. Yeah, serious. Seriously, I'll be doing a lot of tinkering with classes off camera. It's just I still need to puzzle out how this works.